Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in on the live stream here. Got a 6.5 earthquake that uh, struck a short time ago. This is occurring out in the mid-Atlantic range area out here in the ocean, ways away. Um, originally, uh, looks like the EMSC put this as a 6.2 magnitude quake there. It has since been uh, added onto the USGS site at a 6.5 magnitude. You can see there on the EMSC website, that little purple square over here, or circle, indicating the earthquake in question there. Looks like they have it down as a 5.8, but uh, the USGS saying otherwise. You can go over there to their website here real quick. We'll get back to that swarm that's happening there in the Salton Sea region in just a minute. Just want to take you guys out here to show you this exact location there of this 6.5 magnitude quake depth of about 10 kilometers or so not super deep I don't believe there's gonna be any type of tsunami uh, warning with this but uh, it's always a good idea to check right well probably not gonna be one but we'll run over here real quick just to see what they say and of course it's not even listed on the map there but uh, pretty good size one there for that region I know we do see quite a few uh, fives and whatnot and sometimes some sixes this time a uh, mid six out there in the uh, in this little mid-Atlantic rift region so kind of an uptick following the activity that we've seen uh, over the last 24 hours it's been relatively quiet uh, throughout the globe here something that has came back to the California map here is the earthquake swarm taking place near Salton Sea you can see these uh, circles here not large quakes but uh, uh, let's see, they range from about 0.9 up to, I think I've seen a mid-2, upper-2 right there. Uh, in that region, just northwest of Calipatria. And the, in the area where we've seen that earthquake, earthquake swarming take place uh, a couple weeks ago. So, looks as though we're getting right back into that swarm. We'll have to keep an eye on that region. Also up here to the north, a separate area along the Imperial Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, we're seeing some activity as well. This is kind of like an extension, southern extension of the San Andreas Fault that sits right up here on the dark color red line. That's the southern part of the San Andreas Fault, which is locked. And uh, it's always uh, a good idea to keep an eye on this area whenever we see swarming uh, going on near on it or around it. So. Let's see what we've got over here too. Latest quake there in that region, a little microquake there, well northwest of that area. But uh, Ridgecrest still showing some activity up there. And Nevada also still showing some swarming or aftershock activity, I should say, today. Like I said, pretty quiet, folks, aside from that 6.5 that struck now. And also the. Uh, swarming going on there in Southern California. You can see no trimmer being picked up here on the trimmer map from the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network here, the PNSN site that monitors trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone. Very quiet today and a little bit of activity yesterday there. That was included in the update video last night, but uh, pretty quiet. Yellowstone out there I like to share quite a bit. That also has um, remained relatively quiet throughout the last 24 hours. So right now, uh, just a 6.5 out there in the Mid-Atlantic Rift region. Um, yeah, a lot of these here, older earthquakes. And um, yeah, it could be a start here, folks. We're starting to see that little area of rift out here show some large seismic activity. 6.5, I'm sure we'll get stuff into motion out there. Uh, this may be a start of some uh, interesting earthquake activity we'll have to keep an eye on it anyway folks stay safe out there we are uh, live streaming out here on the channel come on over if you uh, want to and uh, we'll chit chat a little bit about earthquakes and whatever you want out here so we'll see you guys in a little bit stay safe everyone